nature can have more twists than your favorite thriller novel. Genetics don't always follow the standard path, and sometimes they can take an astonishing, albeit bizarre, turn. Good boy! And some poor creatures will end up defying the ordinary to become something far more unique than you could possibly imagine. These are the 20 most shocking animal mutations. Number 20. Two-Headed Calf Now, I'm sorry that I'm going to be grossing you out right off the bat, but when I say animal mutations, many of you would likely think about how an animal can be born in a deformed state. And that happens far more than you might think. For example, back in 2015, in Florida, a two-headed calf was born on a farm, and its owners were quite surprised. And no, I'm not going to make a Florida joke here, because frankly, it's the kind of thing that really does happen all over the place. The calf survived being born, which is not always a guarantee in a case like this, and she would then be named Annabelle. Almost from the beginning, the farmers realized that they would have to take serious care of this calf to keep it alive. One of them had to come out to feed it four times a day, and for the record, Annabelle has four eyes, two mouths, two noses, two ears, and two heads. The question that you might have now is, how does something like this happen? Well, I do have an answer for that, and simply put, when animals, and sometimes humans, are born, embryos within the mother's womb merge together to create one being, and it's complicated well and truly. The problem is that sometimes these embryos don't mix properly, and when they don't, you have things like Annabelle. The problem here is not merely that it doesn't look natural, but that Annabelle and other creatures born like this are not exactly meant to have these extra parts. For example, when Annabelle was born, the second head made her body so top-heavy that she couldn't stand and walk like others her age would be able to do. Furthermore, the heads share one brain, and thus they're constantly fighting one another to move and do certain things. Now, while we don't know how long Annabelle lasted, Typically, these kinds of mutated creatures don't have a long lifespan. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Many decades ago, it said that an animal was born in a Parisian zoo that shocked and baffled everyone who saw it, a goat with tiger-style stripes, with a striking black and white coloring. While sadly, few photos exist of the animal, whose name I'm told was Kermit, this artist's recreation of eyewitness accounts helps us to get a feel for what he may have looked like. While it is a once-in-a-lifetime mutation, it sure is stunning. Kermit was a great example of how uniqueness can be synonymous with beauty. And as always, you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Number 19. Wolf Dog If you've been on this channel long enough, you'll know that we've never been shy about sharing our love of wolves with you all. They're majestic and misunderstood creatures that deserve a place in the world, and we would totally want one as our traveling companion if we were in a fantasy world, or a wild person. Most people would think that the wildness of the wolves would make them incompatible partners for more domesticated dogs that people are known to have in their homes, but you know, when a domestic dog mates with a wolf, they create a wolf dog. This is where things get a little bit tricky, because due to how they look, it's really hard to know when exactly wolf dogs were born. For example, there were some who would say that they've been around for about 10,000 years due to certain fossil findings, but that's been allegedly refuted. Others think that they've only been around a few hundred years, which is partially backed up by breeding records, stating that Great Britain began to breed them in 1766. The reason that wolf dogs can happen in nature is simply that wolves have been hunted by humans for so long that their social structures have become disrupted, and in almost a kind of desperation, they'll mate with any other canine that they see, even if they are simple domesticated dogs. Due to the wide range of looks that both wolves and dogs can have, it's unpredictable to know what a wolf dog will actually look like. So, you could actually have one close to you, and you'll likely not even notice. 
The catch is that because they have a wolf's nature within them, they can't always be counted on to have a good temperament, and that's why they're banned in certain countries. Number 18. The Zebroid From a rather understandable kind of animal hybrid, we'd now go to one where you can't help but look at it and say, what actually happened to this thing? A zebroid is the offspring of any cross between a zebra and any other equine to create a hybrid, and in most cases, the sire is a zebra stallion. That's right, whether natural or bred, and the latter is much more common here for obvious reasons, a zebroid is a mixture between a zebra and, basically, anything else that even remotely looks like it. And if that's not weird, I really don't know what is. Because seriously, it's weird! The irony is that, despite all of its weirdness, this kind of hybrid breeding has been going on for quite some time. Even Charles Darwin was aware of zebroids in their many forms and wrote about them. Zebroids physically resemble their non-zebra parent, but they are striped like a zebra. Zebroids, preferred over zebras for practical use like riding, and because the zebra has a different kind of body shape than a horse or a donkey, and consequently, it's difficult to find tack to fit a zebra which is really sad for humanity. All jokes aside, we do need to talk about something rather serious, though. Specifically, that while people have been breeding these zebroids for quite some time, there's actually a reason that you don't see legions of them in the world. The primary reason is that these fusions do not happen in the wild. So, they're opposite of the wolf dog. Could it happen in the wild? Well, theoretically, yes but one hasn't been recorded there yet. And because they don't happen in the wild, many of their offspring that are born are sterile, and they have issues like dwarfism and potential genetic issues as well. This is one of the more dark sides of humanity and how it treats its animals, because this is something that technically should not exist, and yet people have made them because people want them to exist. Something that you'll see with many other entries in this video. Number 17. The Liger Ironically, ligers have become a bit of a pop culture icon in the world due to their impressive size and features. They were even used as references for things like anime, believe it or not. And if you don't believe me, you should look up Zoids, and you'll find out what I'm talking about easily enough. Like the Zebroid, ligers are not born naturally in the world, because they are the product of a male lion having mated with a female tiger. And if you didn't know, lions live in Africa, and tigers do not. It's shocking, I know, but it is true. So anytime that you see a true liger, you know that it was one that was bred in captivity. And here is where things get genetically… interesting. Because if you recall our talk about the zebroid, those fusions often have had bad results, which includes much smaller animals than their parents. In contrast, the liger is the largest of all the cat species. Males reach a total length of 3 to 3.6 meters, which means that they're longer than both their lion and tiger parents, and they're heavier as well. One would be recorded as being 363 kilograms, and the world record holder for the liger was Hercules, who weighed an incredible 418 kilograms. Keeping things in the positive, they're incredibly fast despite their large bodies, they don't mind swimming, and they can have an incredibly long life. But again, this is a creature that you're only going to find in captivity, as lions and tigers don't meet in the wild, and that's probably for the best. However, humanity has found itself enamored with these animals, and they'll so continue to breed them as long as they can. Number 16. The Three-Headed Frog now we go back to the weird animal mutations, and I'm sorry if you partially lose your lunch because of this one. Because what's weirder to look at than a two-headed calf? How about a three-headed frog? And that also happens to have six legs. Because yeah, it happened back in 2004. Not only was it born, it was actually able to live long enough to get noticed, and it was seen hopping around to school. That shows that it had enough control over the many parts of its body to do that. Even the scientists that were brought in to look at this creature were not exactly sure what to make of it because of how much extra parts that it had. One even said that this kind of thing was unprecedented, 
and I'm inclined to believe it. Said scientists stated that frogs have such a genetic structure that it's not uncommon for them to have an extra part, like a toe or something else, but for one to grow three heads and have six legs, that is something else entirely. Like with the calf that began the video, it's believed that the embryos that were used to create this frog were improperly merged or damaged, and thus the extra parts were born. As to what specifically had caused the mutation, well, that's unknown. However, the scientists posited that it could have been something environmental, such as the frog being nearly polluted in water or climate change that affected the creature in some way. So, not unlike humanity, animals do sometimes change for the worse depending on their environment. Number 15. The Geep Now, at first, it may seem logical for a sheep and a goat to mate and create a geep. The geep is indeed a fusion between the pair, but not unlike certain other creatures on this list, it's one that's not really meant to be. You may be thinking that's odd given that plenty of farms and certain other natural areas have both sheep and goats within their population, but it's not all about proximity. It's rather about the genetics. They come from different subfamilies of the same genera, and that means that they aren't exactly of the same genus, which means that their chromosomes are not compatible generally. As a result of this, when a geep is born, they will often die in birth. Yes, some do live, and thus the geep name lives on, no matter how much that we don't like it, but those that do survive are only occasionally fertile, and if you don't have a fertile hybrid most of the time, you can't make a full-on species. And before you ask, it is quite rare that a geep is born naturally, which just goes to show that these animals are aware of their differences and would rather mate with their own kind versus going with whatever is around that may look like them. Sometimes animals are more in the know than humans are, which is why we should never stop learning. Number 14. Octogoat Now, don't freak out because this is not some kind of monstrous entity where we somehow tell you how a goat and octopus mated. I honestly would have protested about writing about that because it obviously would have been fake for a whole lot of reasons. The true octagoat, though, was a young goat that was born in Croatia in 2014, and it was called octagoat because it was born with eight legs. If it's not obvious, that's a really bad thing for a goat to have. Local veterinarians believe that the extra legs were in fact an underdeveloped twin sibling. So it all goes back to the merged embryos that we talked to you about earlier. There was supposed to be a twin, and yet it couldn't develop fully, so it merged with the more healthy host and it didn't go the way that it wanted. Given the more unique factors of this goat situation, it was always believed to not live long. After all, it had to try and live on eight legs, and its body was not adjusted to that. At maximum, it was said to be possible to live about three years, or it could have died in a week as well. And while it's fascinating to look at and wonder the exact merits of how it was born in such a way, it is still quite the sad story in the end. Number 13. The Beefalo Now remember when I said that humanity will sometimes mix breeds to create a better profit opportunity? Well, here's another example of that. The Beefalo. And want to guess why the species was bred into the world? Beefalo is a species crossed between bison and domestic cattle of any breed. The purpose of the species was to blend the outstanding qualities of the bison with those of the bovine breeds of the world. And while that may sound kind of vague, it's a fair assessment of things. It's a true case of the best of both worlds, as the beefalo is not only easier to take care of than the bison or other cattle, but the meat that it produces is of a superior quality compared to its parents. Farmers are not only saving money and raising the animals, but they're also making more money when they sell their meat. And as many of you are fully aware, if a farmer can find a way to save money while making more profit, they are going to do it. Despite the greedy origins, the beefalo has been around for two decades. Number 12. The Two-Faced Cat Now, really, I'm honestly beginning to feel a little bit bad for the mutated creatures that we're talking about today. They didn't ask for this kind of life, and they didn't ask to be a news story that people would just read to look at a weird animal. And yet, here we are. But even within all the sadness and weirdness of it all, there are some positive stories to be told. For example, there was once a two-faced cat called Frank and Louie that was born in 1999. Upon birth, its owner took it to a medical school to see what had happened with the cat. 
Franken Louis was born with one brain, but had two faces, two mouths, two noses, and three blue eyes, and he had only one functional mouth, however, with the other being born without a bottom jaw. Given the condition of the cat and the status of other Janus animals, the school told the owner that it would likely only live a few weeks. Not unlike many of the mutated animals you've seen already. However, life found a way, and Frank and Louis were able to figure out how to live on their own. To the astonishment of everyone, the two-faced cat actually lived to be 15 years old. And while that was ironic, it was also something that came at a cost, because the cat developed some serious cancer in its old age and had to be put down. However, before it died, it set the world record for the oldest Janus animal ever recorded. Number 11. Four-Legged Duck now, we usually go to a different kind of mutation by now, but since I've got you in a mostly positive mood, let's talk about a four-legged duck named Arthur. Arthur would be born on a farm back in 2014, and that farmer who had helped to hatch Arthur was in for quite the surprise when he noticed the two extra legs. Now, to put this into context, that owner, at that point, had hatched over a thousand ducklings, and this was the very first time that they'd seen anything like this. I've never seen this before. I've never seen anything remotely close to it. Thanks to the farmer's daughter, the duck got a fan base on social media. And unlike some other animals that you've seen, the legs were in a position where it didn't affect Arthur very much, and thus Arthur could function properly on its own. Number 10. The Kama Now we're back to humans making animals because they have a need. I mean, are we ever going to learn? Probably not. Can you guess what a comma is without having to look at what the creature is in the end? It's a mixture between a camel and a llama. Yes, it is real, and it's really stupid to be blunt. The aim was to create an animal that was capable of higher wool production than the llama, with the size and strength of a camel and a cooperative temperament. And yes, in the end, this was absolutely a matter of forced breeding, as they actually used artificial insemination to make it happen in Dubai. Uh, South America Lama came to England. England came to Dubai. Uh -huh. Then we started out. As of yet, only a handful or so of these Kama have been born, and they haven't exactly been as advertised, which just goes to show that humans are not exactly as smart as they think they are. What a shocker! Number 9. The Earless Bunny Rabbits are something that are all over the place, and you can instantly recognize them because of their size, faces, and, of course, their ears. But in Japan in 2011, a bunny was found that had caused serious stinks amongst the people, because it was born with no ears. Now, at first, that may not seem like a serious issue, but this was right after the devastating tsunami that had hit the nation that year, and a certain nuclear power plant was damaged. There had been fears about a nuclear leak going on, and this rabbit was found near the plant. It was born in April on a farm about 18 miles from the wrecked nuclear plant. Nuclear radiation can absolutely be a cause of mutations within plants and animals, and as a result, people were told to be very careful around the area of that plant. Number 8. Dolphin with Hind Legs when it comes to creatures of the seas, you often know exactly what parts that they're meant to have and which ones they're not supposed to. For example, with a dolphin, you know that it has fins on certain parts of its body, but not others. In Japan, though, this time in 2004, they found one such dolphin that had an extra set of fins in an odd place, to the extent that many had wondered if these hind legs were remnants of its previous form in the evolutionary chain. Fossil remains do show dolphins and whales were four-footed land animals around 50 million years ago, and they share the same common ancestor as a hippo and a deer. Furthermore, these animals have hind leg protrusions when they're a fetus, but they vanish by the time they're born. So perhaps this time, body just forgot to get rid of these evolutionary memories. Number 7. The Two-Headed Pig a farmer in China in 2016 showed off his prized piglet, which had two heads containing three eyes, two noses, and two mouths. I'm not really sure that I would call that a prize, but to each their own. The reactions to this pig were as numerous as humanity itself. For example, many would call it a freak pig, but others were willing to pay a nice sum for it, likely because they saw a money-making opportunity. Now, thankfully, he didn't sell the pig because the farmer's son wanted to raise it. How kind of him! 
Further showing the how rare that this kind of pig was, the sow that birthed it had other piglets in the litter, and they didn't have any mutations of the sort. <laughs> Proving once again that you can never predict when such a mutation is going to happen. Number 6. The Jag Lion Now look, I get that there's an obsession with big cats, alright? They're mighty and majestic creatures that can instill fear and awe in people, and when they see them both up close and from afar. But what is it with humanity saying, oh, I wonder if we can make them mate? Hi, Smoochie. Smoochie Mooch. The Jag Lion, if not obvious, is a mating between a Jaguar and a Lion, ironically due to their genetics and they're able to mate and create an offspring that can live in a nice life. But like the Liger, the Jag Lion can only be bred in captivity, as the Jaguar is not native to Africa. What is easily the most interesting thing about the Jag Lion, though, is that they aren't predictable in how they'll look. Sometimes they'll look like the father or the mother without any clear indication as to why. So potentially, there are no two Jag Lions that will look the same. Number 5. Six-Legged Octopus Here's a mutation that we find very interesting because instead of an animal gaining an extra body part, we have one that's known for its eight legs, only being born with six. The Hexapus was found in a lobster pot of all things after being purchased by a zoo, and somehow the zoo people didn't realize for a really long time that Henry only had six legs. And this is why humans are doomed, you know. They can't even count to six or eight. Once they realized the truth, they asked around and found that there were no other documented cases of this taking place. It's believed that this was a birth defect, but that would still make it a rare one for octopus kind, as they have incredible healing abilities and are able to regrow their limbs after losing them. However, not in this case, it would seem. Number 4. Two-Headed Turtle Are you starting to notice a pattern? That when it comes to mutated animals, the head is one of the things that is duplicated the most. Because here we are again with a Janus animal, where this time it's a turtle. The twist here is that the turtle was born at a zoo in 2013, and it took the internet by storm at the time, even getting its own Facebook page. I'm sure that Zuckerberg made a whole lot of money because of that. The turtles, named Thelma and Louise, were apparently the result of twins not having separated in the womb. But thankfully, they were able to function on their own and survive past the birth. Ironically, this is not the first two-headed animal in the zoo's history. Number 3. The Cyclops Shark Now for something completely different. Because there was a tale of a one-eyed shark that hit the internet years back, and no one believed it until more pictures were shown and that's when they realized that it was in fact a real thing. The first of these one-eyed sharks was found in Mexico in 2011, and then years later, another one was found within the body of a mother shark in Indonesia. And this one was an albino to boot. So yes, sharks can only have one eye due to defects during birth, and it can happen at least twice. But when you look at those baby sharks, you can also understand why some people thought that they were fake, because it just seemed too weird to be real. Number 2. The Monkey Pig Now I promise that this is not what you may be thinking once again, and everyone's going to be grateful that it's something other than that horrid notion. In Cuba, a piglet was born and then shown off to the world at large because of how its face looked. And if you can't guess, it had a deformity that made it appear rather monkey-like. Specifically, the facial deformity resulted in the pig having a simian jaw, a considerably shorter snout, and a protruding forehead so that it resembled a monkey. Unlike in past entries, it's not immediately clear what would have caused this deformity. The obvious answer is simply a genetic defect, but to cause it so much to this degree, that would be quite the genetic issue. The pig died four days after being born. Number 1. Clayed the Cyclops How about one more Cyclops for the road, where this time we're going to show you Clayed who was a cyclops and a kitten. It's not what you were expecting. Sadly, the story does not have a happy ending because even though it was born into the world, it died not long after. That was not too surprising to the vet that birthed it due to how the kitten had one gigantic eyeball and no nose. The family who were to take the kitten shared its story online so that others could understand the value of life and how it can come in all forms. And as they noted, 
the kitten didn't suffer as it passed on into the next life. That's all from the realm of the animal kingdom and the mutations and hybrids that have been born. Were you surprised by some of these creatures that we showed you today? And which ones did you find the most interesting? Perhaps you know of another mutation that would fit well on this list. Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments down below. Check out the other cool things that are popping up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.